Hey class, this is Mr. Rutz, and I'm going to get you through the first assignment. So, the first assignment is, what is engineering? First thing you do, you download the Word document and your PowerPoint. PowerPoint here, Word document here, and then you're ready to go. I would suggest putting one to the left and one to the right. That way you can access both things. Let me try. Okay, so right off the bat. Scientists investigate our natural world. Engineers create the human design world. Technologies are the products and processes created by an engineer, often used by a scientist. Knowledge of science and math is necessary for the creation of new technologies. People in all these career areas help put the cereal you've eaten this morning on your table. Uh, you know what? Let me go away from this for a second. Uh, scientists, engineers, technologists, and mathematicians make everything that's around us. The scientists learn about natural things, the natural world, just as they are before people even touch them. Engineers learn about those materials and different properties from scientists, and then they use that information to make new technology. And that new technology fulfills the needs and wants of people. So. Uh, when engineers make new things, that's technology, and technology can help scientists get further. Uh, for instance, before there were major machines that could drill into the ground, we couldn't access some of those materials that scientists have learned about. Um, now, mathematics, that's like the language of all of these, because it's used in measurement, it's used to compare results, it's just present in all of these fields. And that's what STEM is. It's working together to solve problems based on societal needs and wants. Societal, that comes from society. Uh, the needs and wants we'll get into in a little bit. Uh, so let's talk about this with an example. And uh, let's see, for the questions, let's see. I want you to explain these in your own words, which I think you can do with what I did in the past few minutes. Draw a concept map. You don't have to do this. If you hand this in and you don't do this, I will be a happy teacher. Uh, number three, you're going to come up with your own example like this. So, the object is a pencil. You don't. You can just write what it is. Uh, now, how are they all needed to create a product? A scientist discovered the graphite that was used that can be used to make marks and the rubber that removes the graphite. So that, those are the natural things that they had to learn about before making a pencil. Technology, creating a writing device that doesn't use ink. So uh, that was the, the purpose of making this pencil. Uh, the pencil was made because we needed something that could write uh, that doesn't use ink. So uh, this one is a, it's a little weird. I'm not a huge fan of it, but we can move on to the engineering. This is a bigger one. With engineering, you use science and technology to develop a solution to the problem. So the engineering side of this, the engineer needs to design a device using graphite and rubber and something that you can hold it with. Okay, They're trying to solve the problem of needing to be able to write using this, these materials. Um, so they use the scientific part for the technology part. And math. What is the optimal length, diameter, or shape of the, of the device? So a lot of it, yeah, it could be measurement because uh, how it fits in your hand, how much lead you're going to need, uh, even just maybe costs, those all fit into the making of a pencil. So I want you to pick one thing, look around your room right now or wherever you are, and fill in this chart to the best of your ability. A big comment with engineering tie in the science to the technology. And with technology, explain what the technology does. All right. So a need and a want. Went here, and I'm going to go here. So the needs are the essential things that you need so you don't die, uh, <laughs> to be very honest. So your physical needs are anything that would be, uh, that would protect you uh, in, in the world. So you have your shelter, which protects you, protect you as you sleep from heat and elements like rain, your clothing, which will also protect your skin or, or keep you warm, and I'm sure there's more, but I want to move along to keep this video under 10 minutes. Uh,
biological needs. We're all animals, and we need water, food, and other things to just survive. Minerals, vitamins, all those things. They're necessary. Now, psychological needs. Your mind, your emotions, uh, the things that make you comfortable. Uh, people are very social animals, and they need family, and they need friends. Now, what's the difference between a need and a want? So, let's go to, uh, to wants. We have a nice house. You don't need a nice house. You want a nice house. And a nice car? You don't need a car at all. In fact, a lot of people walk to work or bike ride or, or even work from home. So it's not necessary to live. You will live without a car. Uh, clothing. You need clothing, but you don't need nice clothing. Uh, in fact, let's see. Uh, we had a discussion the other day about how um, you can think of the needs versus the wants uh, by thinking of the caveman. Did a caveman have uh, Beats headphones? No, it, because those are wants. Uh, did a caveman have shelter? Yeah, caves or some basic housing. So you can look through the rest of these, but biological wants, you want fresh water, something a little nicer than, than basic water. Fancy food? Oh, I will take a nice meal over rice, plain rice, any day. Will pr plain rice sustain me and keep me alive? Yes, but that's why it's a need and not a want. Um, psychological wants. Talk with friends, or see friends, talk with family, entertainment. Entertainment, I think, is the biggest want. You can get by without entertainment. Uh, the first two are a little eh, but you can use those in your chart. Just as long as you get the idea that needs are your absolute essentials. Wants are things that you like and you want, but you would live without them. My question to you, is a cell phone a need or a want? I'm going to ask that in class. So here we go, seven and a half minutes. Let's move forward. What is an engineer? They tell you right here. Engineering uses scientific, technological, and mathematician, mathematical knowledge to solve practical problems. Uh, and you know what? A big thing here, under constraint. That means that your resources are limited. You never have infinite time. You never have infinite money. So engineers use the science, technology, and math to solve problems that exist. So, um, this examples of an engineer does. Engineers could design a building that uh, it supports a lot of people, uh, of public buildings. They also can regulate, or they can design roads. Uh, engineers can even come up with uh, with simple things like, let's see. Like those little, there's a, a plastic tray that you can use to, to hold your cell phone as it's charging. There's a plastic tray to hold cell phone. Do that, and it goes, guess what? An engineer can come up with that too. And then come up with all the machines needed to build that. But they really just solve problems. Here, that was engineered. Somebody used the, the ideas of a lever to make this. Uh, so that you can lift things easier. But really, anything, anything in the world is, has been engineered.